Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. One of the things that people ask me all the time, and you're probably going to ask this in Q&A, but it's one of my favorites, so I'll get it right out there. Where do you get your protein? Hmm? Tim, where do you get your protein? <laughs> nuts and seeds, legumes, soy? Well, I don't eat nuts and seeds. I don't eat soy. I don't eat beans. Where do you get your protein? I don't. I don't get my protein. But then as people say, well, kale and leafy greens and, you know, yeah. I am getting some protein from that. But as an athlete, not enough. If you look at all the sports medicine, nutrition books out there, all the guidelines, if you study sports nutrition, I am not consuming enough protein with the diet that I'm eating. Terribly deficient. So why is it that I'm able to outpower 20-year-olds at the age of 39 in the Sears Tower if I'm not getting enough protein? How is that possible? How is it that I'm 15 pounds overweight for a runner? Not fat, I have no body fat. I can't get body fat if I try. But why am I 15 pounds overweight? Because I have too much muscle. I build muscle without doing anything. How is that possible if I'm not getting protein? You know? Like there are people out there that say that diet will never increase muscle. Exercise is the only thing that can increase muscle mass. Uh, excuse me, but come over here and study this, because I can prove you wrong. But I'm not eating protein. I'm not eating the nuts. I'm not eating the seeds. Where am I getting my protein from? I'm not. I'm not. What I'm getting are amino acids in the form of enzymes. Protein is the middleman, okay? We've all been sold the protein myth because it sells products. You don't need protein. You need amino acids. When you consume protein, the body has to expend a lot of energy to break it down. They're pretty strong bonds. The body can break down sugars and fats pretty quickly. Proteins take a long time to break down. They're tough molecules to break apart. And when the body does break them apart, it turns them into amino acids, which it then uses. It doesn't use the protein. That's the middleman. It uses the amino acids. So why eat the middleman, which takes energy out of my body to break it down? Why not just eat the amino acids, which instantly become assimilable, and they go right into the body and do their job? That's what enzymes are. They're complex chains of amino acids. Look it up. You know, don't take my word for it. Look it up. That's what the definition is, you know? Any fresh fruit or vegetable is full of enzymes. Enzymes are amino acids. Everything you eat, as long as it's not cooked, is full of amino acids. Well, soy doesn't have a complete amino acid profile. Well, hemp doesn't, you know, you gotta, get the, you gotta eat the beans and the rice to get the ple... Everything has amino acids in it. Everything, until you cook it. How do they study food in a laboratory? They have to cook it. They break it down first, they cook it. They sterilize it, and then they study it. You can't study live food. Like now they have a way to study live blood. You know, it used to be blood all had to be cooked before you could look at it under a microscope. Well, now they've developed microscopes that can actually look at live blood, and that's a new technology. Eventually, maybe they'll find a way to look at live food. But right now, in order to study the chemical properties of that food, they have to cook it. So they're obviously not going to see, I mean, there's no amino acids or proteins in that apple. But they're in there until you cook it.